Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here, sharing a glitch that I found in this week's weekly contract. Now, this is the weekly contract from Reda and the Thousand Eyes Network called Marked for Death. This is not the Ubisoft challenge from Ubisoft Connect. So I'm filming this the last week of January 2021, and this contract's going to expire the first Tuesday in February. So I'll show you where I am on the map here, but again, don't come here looking for it. You have to get the quest from Reda first. However, there could be others like it that could still have this glitch because the contracts do tend to repeat. So this is the kind where there's one target you're supposed to assassinate who's carrying wealth, who's carrying an ingot that I just marked using my raven, and your target is surrounded by three guards who have those red capes. And the reason I found this is because this patrol looks very similar to that other patrol in East Anglia that's glitched. I made another video on that one. I'll put a link to it in the description below, as well as a link to my Assassin's Creed playlist. I have videos with different glitches, different farms for ingots, titanium, nickel, carbon. So check those out as well. And it doesn't matter what order you kill the guards in. But the important thing is when you kill the target here that you're supposed to assassinate, don't use stealth. Because if you use stealth, you'll automatically confirm the kill, but you don't want to confirm the kill. Instead, you want to save your game and then reload. So I'm going to quick save using the down button on the D-pad and then reload that save that I just made. And instead of the bodies being there, like you'd expect, the entire patrol is going to come back to life. And those four enemies that I just killed are going to be alive again, just a bit up the road from where I'm standing right here. So that's the glitch. So you can kill those enemies again and get the XP and the silver they were carrying again. So you can use this if you want to farm XP, farm silver. There might be better ways to farm XP and silver, but this is actually a pretty easy, pretty fun way that should be accessible to everyone because pretty much everybody is eligible to get these daily and weekly quests from Reda if you've built his tent in your settlement in England. And I think you have to complete at least one pledge at your settlement in England. So again here, I'm going to stealth kill the first Woolbringer because you get more XP when you do a stealth kill as opposed to non-stealth. Oh, but I didn't do the chain assassination. I missed it, but no problem. I'm just going to take out these other enemies. And this guy, I have to make sure I don't confirm the kill or else I won't be able to do the save and reload. One tip on these Woolbringers is after you kill one, if you have the Battleground Bolt ability in the Wolf skill tree, you can throw the weapons, those two hammers, at the enemy, like I'm doing right there, which is pretty fun. Uh, let me see if I can do it. Yes, I just threw the two hammers the first enemy was using it to kill the second. So yeah, I just think this is pretty fun. So I'm gonna quick save and reload to show you that the patrol is gonna spawn yet again. And this is the last time I'll show you it, but it does keep respawning. And so you're gonna get XP every time you kill those guards as well as silver, usually one or two of them are carrying at least 30 silver. So the XP in the silver does add up. If you can kill at least one of those guards with the capes using stealth, you're gonna get over 250 XP for killing all the four enemies. And then if you can do that four times, you're gonna have over a thousand XP in a few minutes. And I'm using the XP boost here, but 
still, it's a pretty fast way to get XP. Now, you don't get the XP for completing this quest because you don't actually complete the contract until you confirm the kill, which I'm going to do here just to show you. But once you confirm the kill, you won't be able to make the patrol respawn. Oh, I think I forgot to mention I'm using the advanced assassination skill here as well when there's that circle that closes and you have to do the timing-based assassination. I muted the audio on this just so I could be uninterrupted <laughs> in my commentary here. And I'm trying to throw that weapon, but I missed, so I'll have to parry, parry this guy instead. Cool. And now that I've taken out all three of the woe bringer, that's what these enemies are called, woe bringers. And now I'm going to assassinate him to end the contract. So once I do that, I will not be able to make them respawn. But if you don't confirm the kill, as I showed, you can make this patrol keep respawning and keep killing them for more XP and silver. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks for Assassin's Creed Valhalla you won't find any place else. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and see you in the next one.